Why, Agent Wilmore? Why, Agent Cook? You picked a great day to be late. There's some big gun in from D.C. I don't know what's up, but it looks serious. I doubt it has anything to do with us. Wilmore. Agent Wilmore, I want to see you in my office. So who's the big gun from D.C.? I think his name is Skinner. Assistant Director Skinner. What case is you working on? Um, pull tab counterfeiters and uh, the militia group still active in the Northern Cascades. I'm going to assist the DEA on a meth lab ring, but I'm um, handling things okay. Did uh, Shank seem upset? Well, he smiled at me. That's never a good sign. I got a letter from Barbara. Anything good? Not really. Too bad. I'm sorry. You should try to let that go. Come in. This is Assistant Director Skinner. Agent Walmore. Sir? Two of my agents are missing, Fox Mulder and Dana Scully. I haven't heard from them in three days. I'm extremely concerned. Should Cook be involved in this investigation? Well, it's up to you, really. You know the Bureau's policy on backup? I would suggest you use all available resources. Where were they last seen? In my office in D.C., right before they left. What case were they working on? I'm not quite sure. All I have is this travel requisition which shows that they were going to Everett, Washington. These two agents were able to function with a high degree of autonomy due to the nature of the cases they pursued. Have they disappeared before? No, not like this. Can I get their cell phone numbers? Uh, you'll find it in the dossier, however, they're not answering. Have they been romantically involved in the past? I don't know. I don't think so. Are they romantically involved now? As I say, I don't know. I don't believe so. Do you know of anything unusual in Everett? There's nothing that I'm aware of. What should I do with my current cases? Hand them off to Cook. I know he's busy, but this is priority. File an APB on Mulder and Scully, then give your current case files to Cook. A.D. Skinner will join you shortly. So, okay. What's happening? You can't just sit on this. You gotta tell me what's happening. Jesus, if there's a brass button in the building, you're gonna kiss it, aren't you? Oh, come on, man, tell me. There's a couple of missing agents he's trying to find, okay? Uh, 
I'm guessing I know what Shanks wants to do with your current cases. Shanks wants me to hand my cases off to you. Great. Thanks, golden boy. Will you file an APB on Mulder and Scully for me? Yes. I suggest we start with the motel where Mulder and Scully are staying. I'll be waiting for you in the car. Can I help you? Please don't do that. Do you know how many people do that with me sitting right here? No. Well, you're not the first. A blue one and a black one and a yellow one and a orange one. Your little girl is beautiful. Thank you. She's three. Would you like a gumball? Thank you. I didn't have a nickel. You sure I can't help you, gentlemen? I see a lot of faces. You have names? Agents Mulder and Scully. Oh, yeah. They paid for a week in advance. Room three and four. Did you notice anything unusual about the two agents? Um, the guy was kind of spooky. Other than that, no. Did anything unusual occur while they were here? Not that I can remember. Do you have the make and license number of their rental car? Sure, it's on the form, assuming they told the truth. Could you write it down for me, please? Can you remember anything that might help us? No, I'm sorry. They checked in and left that evening. I didn't see them after that. Would you take us to their rooms, please? Sure. Come this way. Here we go. This is his room. She stays next door. Thank you. I hope there aren't any dead bodies in here. I got finals coming up next week. You can get in and out through here. Did they ask you to unlock those doors? Did they look unlocked? No, they didn't. Thank you. We'll uh, let you know if we need anything else. You know where to find me. Why don't you start with Mulder's room? I'll take Scully's. I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. I can't decide if that's good or bad. They probably log all outgoing calls. Maybe we can get uh, some leads on who they were trying to contact. It would be helpful to know what case they were working on. Yes. Yes, it would be helpful. Listen, I'd appreciate it if you didn't uh, refer to them in the past tense, so. How long have you known them? Four years now. I've known Mulder longer than that. I guess it's been uh, almost six. What now? What's your major? I'm working on a law degree.
Do you keep a record of outgoing calls? Sure, for billing purposes. Could I get a copy, please? Great. Give me a minute. I want you to know you're putting me behind. Sorry, I don't mean to bother you at work. Funny. I'll be reviewing my notes in the meeting room. You've got mail. You have mail. It would be helpful to have some background on the case your agent were pursuing. Wouldn't it? When I have some, I'll share it with you. Why don't you check out the main floor? I'm going to take a look in there.
Well, this phone is DOA. I'll have some DNA tests run on the blood. I'll take a sample of the side crime lab in D.C. and have it analyzed. What do you think about that? I don't know, but I suggest you minimize your contact with it until we have it analyzed. What do you think about this? It's a popular brand. Why would Mulder and Scully have called this location? I'm not sure, but it's the best lead we've got. That blood is troubling. It doesn't look very good, does it? Let's have it analyzed and know it belongs to someone else. The bullet passed through. The victim may only have been injured. And that's assuming they were only shot once. But I appreciate your optimism, Agent Wilmore. If they were killed, where are the bodies? I doubt the killers would leave the bodies of two federal agents lying here for us to find. If they're dead, we'll probably never find them. Let's just hope that's not the case. Now, if we delay any longer, we'll be lucky to find anything. Agent Wilmore, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Never seen him before. What's your name? James Wong. What can you tell me about that warehouse? Not much. It's a warehouse. I don't know. I just dock here. Yeah, they used to haul a lot of cargo in and out of there. Armed guards sometimes. Uh, lately, it's been pretty quiet, which ain't too surprising, considering what's been going on around here. Well, what exactly is that? Fish been drying up. Have you noticed any unusual activity? Not really, just the fact the warehouse has been a lot quieter than usual. You've been here this last week? Pretty much. You haven't seen or heard anything unusual? No, I try to get home by dusk, see my family. Tell me about your family. Why? I'm curious. Just want to know about your family, that's all. Okay. Wife, little girl. How old's your daughter? Seven. Young for a man your age. I'm surprised. I eat a lot of fish. Is your wife younger than you? Young enough to have a seven-year-old. How long have you been in this country? My accent give it away, huh? <laughs> 10, 11 years, maybe. Where are you from, Mr. Wong? China. I left Canton in 1985. Does this look familiar to you? No. What is it? Why don't you let me ask the questions? Any reason why we'd find blood in that warehouse? No, uh, industrial accident, maybe. I don't know. Can I get a cigarette from you? Sorry, I don't smoke. Gives you cancer. Don't you watch the news? So what's happened to the fishing? I don't know, but it's getting bad. Some folks say it's from overfishing. How long's this been going on? Long enough for a lot of guys to move on. Can't make ends meet. I'm thinking about it myself. That sedan's been following us since we left the field office. Who do you think that was? Someone who's interested in what we're doing. Do you think they know about Mulder and Scully? It's possible, yes. Let's trace that license number get your film developed. No film. It's digital.
you have made. Hey, Mr. Wilmore. Good to see you. It's been a while. Hey, John. How have you been? Bored. I hope you have something real exciting for me. I do my best. So, what have you got? What's this, blood? Very good. You got a target to match it to? I can tell you the blood type, but without a target for a DNA test, there's not much I can do. What's the case? A couple of missing FBI agents. We think the blood may belong to one of them. That's too bad. I suggest you have the Psy Crime Lab in DC run it. They could probably match it against the uh, current agent database pretty quickly. One slug. Looks like a 38. It's not in very good shape. Standard stuff, I guess. Uh, yeah, I dug it out of a hunk of wood. You got it. What have we here? You're gonna have to do better than this. I can tell you right now what this is. It's industrial grade lead. Lead? Yeah. Why lead? I don't know. It's uh, used for anything from weighing scuba divers to lining x-ray vests. Pretty common stuff. Is there any reason why someone would treat this like contraband? Nope. It's neither illegal nor sexy. There's no reason why anybody should want or need to smuggle it anywhere. No thanks, I'm trying to quit. That's very funny. Thank you. One Morley cigarette butt. I'll give it the once over. You working on anything good? Nope. It's been very slow. I count on you FBI guys to keep my life interesting. How's your wife? Ex, you mean? She's good. She's taking the kids to her mom's for Easter. Yours? My wife? No, your ex-kids. Yeah, your wife. Good, I guess. We haven't really spoken in a while. Hey, don't you owe me a dollar? <laughs> From what, that basketball game? No way, that crooked partner of yours cheated. Cook? He never cheated a day in his life. Don't hold your breath over that buck. The boys in the crime lab are officially protesting. You have me. Why were we being followed? I don't know, but whoever's involved in this case isn't afraid of the FBI. There could be an underworld connection. What do you think that powdered lead is being used for? I don't know. That one has me really stumped. It could be a byproduct of weapons manufacture. I suggest you conduct a little research. You think Wong is involved? I don't know. Did you get the sense that he knew more than he was telling you? He's definitely hiding something. Is there any connection with the decline in fishing? I don't see any obvious connection. Board fishing isn't a federal offense. I could run a DNA test on the saliva on that cigarette. Oh, that's a bit of a stretch, Agent Wilmore. I wouldn't waste my time. You think the blood belongs to one of your agents? I can't rule it out. But I'll wait for the test results before making a determination. I suggest you do the same, Agent Wilmore. A.D. Skinner, you've got a call on line one. This is Skinner. I understand.
I have to go back to Washington immediately. I'll take some of the blood back to the lab in D.C. for analysis. I want you to be in surveillance on that warehouse tonight. These two agents are very important to me. Hey, pal, how's it going out there? I'm sure you're sucking up to Skinner appropriately. You know, it could be better. Well, that's too bad. What's the problem? I just don't have much of a handle on what's happening here. This is a problem. Talk to me. I'm just not thinking very clearly. Have you been sleeping? Not a wink. No wonder you can't think. You better do something about that. Yeah. Hey, listen. If you need anything, you just let me know, okay? Thanks, man. What's with the laptop? Oh, Scully's. It's password protected. You want me to call Computer Crimes Division and see what they can do? No, I'll do it. Okay, fine. You have mail. You have mail. You have made
Hey, did you get the did you get the number of that bus? You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna live, unfortunately. Until Shanks gets a hold of me. Oh. Well, we better see if anything's missing. Oh, his laptop is missing. That's your phone. Is this uh, Agent Wilmore? Yes. Agent Wilmore, this is Agent Pendrel of the Psy Crime Lab in DC. Uh, I completed the preliminary analysis of the blood sample from your office. <sighs> I'm afraid I've got some bad news. It looks like that blood belongs to Agent Scully. Oh, Jesus. Are you certain? Fairly. I mean, a more detailed analysis will confirm, but I'm pretty sure that's Scully's blood. So at the very least, we know she's been injured. Um, was there much blood at the scene? Yeah, a fair amount. Well, let's hope it's not as bad as it looks. <sighs> yeah, okay. Thanks for the call. Sure. If uh, anything changes, I'll let you know. Sure. No problem. Oh, Agent Wilmore? Yeah? Keep me informed, okay? All right. Thanks. More good news. That fisherman you interviewed yesterday, he's just been shot to death. So, what happened to you? I came in early to catch up on your work, and someone jumped me. Did you see who hit you? Nope. Whoever did it was real quiet. Why did they only take Scully's laptop? You got me. Shanks is going to be furious. And not to mention Skinner. Oh, now there's something to look forward to. First they disappear, then we lose his prize agent's confidential records. I don't know what you're involved in, but someone's got some big brass ones in order to steal equipment from an FBI field office. How did you know about Wong? What? How did you know I went to see Wong yesterday? You told me. Hey, I was the one hit on the head, remember? I didn't tell you about Wong. Oh, well, I guess Skinner must have mentioned it. Congratulations, old-timer. I don't know what you were doing, but you just warranted the involvement of the federal government. Lucky you. So what have you got? Well, Agent Wilmore, barring any unexpected revelation, looks like somebody shot this man in the back of the head. Have we met? Yeah, we both worked on that kidnapping last year, remember? Sorry. No problem. It was a big team. So what was the time of death? Well, preliminarily, I'd say he's been dead for about six hours. So that would make the time of death early in the AM. What caliber weapon was used? Big, 45 looks like. Maybe a 357. Hit him in the mastoid bone. That's that big, spongy mass of bone behind a ear. It shatters more easily, so there's an inordinate amount of damage. A lot of bone fragments get driven up into the brain. That's where Oswald hit JFK. I take it you subscribe to the lone gunman theory? No, I think aliens killed JFK. Any sign of a struggle? Nope. Either he was totally surprised or he knew his killer. I gather there were no witnesses. 
I don't think so, but you better check with Detective Astadorian. Medical examiner doesn't get much chance to interrogate bystanders. Any idea what happened? No. Any thought on motive? Robbery would be my guess. Ask Astadorian. It's her case. Can I get some copies of those? Sure. Give me a name. Craig Wilmore, FBI. No problem. It'll take a couple days. Any idea what happened? As I just said, no. Can I get some copies of those? Yes. Sure. Give me a name. Craig Wilmore, FBI. No problem. It'll take a couple days. What can I do for you? Special Agent Craig Wilmore, FBI. FBI? What's the Bureau's interest in this case? I'm investigating the disappearance of two agents. OK, so what's the connection to this man? My investigation led me to this warehouse. Inside, we found evidence of foul play, including the blood of one of our missing agents. I spotted Wong, asked him a few questions about the warehouse. Now he's dead. I'm not certain what the connection is, but I'm pretty certain there is one. I'll buy that. Interesting. This case just went from routine to fun. Thanks. Anytime. So, what have you got? Harbor Master found the body. He was shot once in the back of the head, large caliber by the looks of it, no witnesses, no sign of struggle. That's it? So far. So, where's the Harbor Master? Gone for coffee. Have you questioned him yet? Nope. Next on my list after search boat. Any reports of trouble in this area? No. All's quiet on the waterfront. It's too bad. Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice to just pin this on gang activity and be done with it? Any thoughts on motive? Robbery, most likely. So what was stolen? Haven't quite gotten there yet. Just about to go onto the boat. Well, robbery seems unlikely to me. Didn't look like the old guy had much. Probably true. But you'd be amazed at what people will kill for. He probably had a cigar box full of cash. Unless maybe he was killed for squealing to the feds. I wish I thought that was funny. Well, Wong didn't exactly run with the most desirable crowd. All right, looks like it's time to board the good ship Agrippa. Care to join me? There's no freezers. Hell, there's not even an ice chest on board. So where'd the fish go? And by the looks of it, those are some pretty serious gas tanks down there. 